好，咁我哋就繼續嚟溫下書啦噃。咁啊，呢一張圖啦，咁頭先咧我哋都講過啦，佢啊將會咧就進行呢個減數分裂嘅。咁題目就問啦，以下啦，一、二、三咧，邊一幅圖係能夠顯示到一個可能性嘅染色體嘅組合咧？喺我哋嘅子細胞。咁今次啦，佢要進行嘅係減數分裂啊嘛，係咪？咁自不然整出嚟嘅咧，都應該係配子嚟嘅，嘅搣嚟嘅。咁啊喺當中啦，有啲咩我哋要留意呢？呢個題目啦，實質要考我哋嘅呢，其實就係有關於減數分裂啦，同埋呢個染色體分離嘅。咩叫染色體分離啊？有一個好簡單嘅例子啦，就係、是、呢，我哋有呢兩條嘅綠色嘅。啊 ，highlight 咗嘅染色體啦，都係長長嘅，都係一個同源染色體，毫無 logos c o m o s o m 一黑一白，我當嘅就嚇，黑色係阿爸嚟嘅，白色咧係阿媽嚟嘅。當我哋去製造配子嘅時候咧，其實就是但一條，即係黑色或者白色，佢哋就會被分配去不同嘅配子當中啦。而今次嘅題目咧，就問我哋。染色體可能性嘅組合喎，咁就考到我哋一樣嘢啦，就係、是、有關於基因遺傳嘅變異啦。而今次所牽涉嘅過程咧，就係、是、同源染色體嘅獨立分配。個概念啦，就係、是、當我哋有一對嘅同源染色體啊，藍色啊、紅色啊，咁啊，好似書本嗰幅圖啦，係咪？當佢哋啦進行 meta phase one 中期一嘅時候咧，其實咧佢哋都係有不同類型嘅擺位方法嘅喎，呢、這個就叫獨立分配啦。你可以係藍色藍色擺埋一齊，紅色紅色擺埋一齊，我當啦，藍色係阿爸嘅，紅色係阿媽嘅，咁啊藍色啦，阿爸啲染色體咪擺埋一齊咯，阿媽咪擺埋一齊咯，得唔得啊？可以。咁亦都可唔可以溝亂種啊？阿爸嘅藍色交叉唔一定擺埋一齊嘅，可能配埋阿媽嘅紅色交叉呢，又可以接受㗎喎。導致到啦，我哋所能夠整出嚟嘅配置呢，就有四款嘅染色體組合嘅可能性啦。咁今次呢道題目又點樣做呢？咁我哋啱啱呢，就將呢兩條長嘅交叉就染咗綠色啦，係咪？咁實質啦，一二三啊，邊個啦會有一個可能性嘅組合呢？咁其實好容易嘅啫，你又將呢幅圖呢，其餘嘅。同源染色體用同一款嘅顏色將佢分類先。咁啊，呢兩條藍色嘅係咪就係呢個中,中等長度啦？上面有少少短短出出嘅，下面又長啲少少嘅。跟住啦，就去到呢、這個誒、呃、紅色啦，就呢、是、兩條短嘅啦，係咪？跟住啦，再掹多一個例如、呃、紫色啦，好唔好？咁啊，紫色咧就係、是、呢兩條啦。OK， 咁而家啦，我哋要去睇嘅，根據翻染色體嘅分離嘅概念啦，同埋染色體嘅。獨立分配啦，咁我哋咧就去睇下咯。究竟每一個嘅子細胞佢出完嚟之後啦，能唔能夠攞得翻呢個綠色啊、藍色啊、紅色啊同埋紫色嘅同源染色體嘅其中一個成員咯、啊？咁我哋望一望啦。第一幅圖咧，我哋會發現啦，誒、哎、綠色長嘅呢個響樹啊，藍色呢一個又響樹嗱，是但攞一條嘅啫嘛，黑色、白色是但攞一條就得噶啦嘛，係咪？跟住啦，紅色就攞條短嘅，跟住頭先咧呢個紫色咧就攞呢條中等嘅。咦，呢、这個齊樣喎、哦，一咧係可以接受嘅。咁啊，圈翻低線啦。嗱，一咧係可以接受嘅。去到第二啦，又嚟試一試咯。紫色見唔見啊？紫色都見嘅呢一條啦，係咪？跟住啦，紅色咧就短嘅呢一條啦。嗱，又又係嗰句啦，是但攞黑白都已經得噶啦嘛，因為呢個係分離嘅概念嚟噶嘛，係咪？跟住啦，藍色咧就係呢一條啦。跟住啦，就去到呢，係藍色嘅呢一條啦。跟住啦，就去到綠色呢，就長呢條喎。咦，都係喎，綠色、紅色、紫色、藍色都有喎。咁即係二號呢，都仲係可以接受嘅。咁啊，到第三咯喎，第三呢，我見到啦，綠色啦。咦，有兩條綠色嘅，係咪都係長嘅呢一個啊？黑白都攞晒喎。跟住啦，紅色嘅攞個短嘅啦，跟住啦，呢個藍色嘅呢，就攞呢個中等長度啊，上面短出出，下面就長少少嘅。咁即係話你見到第三呢，有啲奇怪啦，冇理由呢對嘅同源染色體你攞晒㗎嘛，要做減數分裂製造配子，其實我哋呢一對嘅同源染色體毫無 logos c o m o s o m 我攞一條就夠㗎喇喎。咁呢度啦，攞晒兩條喎，咁就四 goodbye 啦。咁所以答案呢，就係 A 啦。咁呢個題目啦，有啲咩嘅變奏呢？咁今次呢，就叫做俾啲圖你啦，去分別下啊，究竟啦個子細胞當中個染色體嘅可能性組合啦。咁下次不妨呢，就直接問你啦。喂，嗱而家個 cell 咧就係咁嘅樣嘅。啊，我哋呢，又見到有八條嘅。染色體啦，有四組嘅同源染色體，四個 pairs 嘅毫無 logos c o m o s o m 啦。咁究竟佢製造出嚟嘅
，紙細胞究竟有幾多款啊？啊，直頭問你計出嚟啊，有幾多款嘅可能性組合呢？嗱，咁呢條數好易計嘅啫，其實呢，就係透過二嘅 n 次去計。n 係咩呢 n 呢，就係 number of 呢個 number of homologous chromosome pair 啦。就係、是、同源染色體究竟有幾多對啦？咁但首先啊，可以書本俾我哋呢個情況呢，係咪有兩對啊？嗱，長長嘅呢一對同埋短短嘅呢一對係咪？咁所以啦，就係二嘅二次，總共有點啊？四個可能性，咁係咪四個啊？一個、兩個、三個、四個。咁而家啦，我哋呢度有幾多對嘅同源染色體啊？就係、是、四對啊嘛，係咪啊？綠色、藍色、紫色、紅色，咁即係二嘅。四次啦，咁你撳一撳計數機都知啦，二嘅四次就係十六啦。咁我哋就有十六組嘅染色體可能性組合啦。Hello students, so let's do the cell division revision together. In this question, we still study these cells. These cells is at the early stage of the meiotic cell division, as mentioned in the question. And the question is asking us which of the following diagrams show the possible combination of the chromosome in the daughter cells. So By the meiotic cell division, what type of daughter cell are we going to produce? We are going to produce the gametes, right? So for this question, it's checking us the concept about the meiosis and the chromosome segregation, because for the gametes they are haploid, right? It means that in a pair of the homologous chromosome, this yellow pair. So when we are undergoing the meiotic cell division, only one member. Of this pair of homologous chromosome, either the black one or the white one in this pair of the homologous chromosome, is about the chromosome segregation. And for this question, is asking the possible combination of the chromosome. Therefore, it's also checking us the concept about the genetic variation through the independent assortment of the homologous chromosome. So we use this diagram as the revision. In this diagram, we can see that we have two pairs of homologous chromosome, the long one and the short one. During the metaphase one, the homologous chromosome pair they will lie up in the middle of the cells, and there will be two possible arrangement. For example, the blue one, ah,、uh, the blue chromosome. Let's say it comes from father, so the blue chromosome they will go together, or the red chromosome from mother they will go together. To the daughter cells, or there will be some mixing of the paternal and the maternal chromosome from father and mother. The blue chromosome can go with the red chromosome to the gamete, or the red chromosome, the long one, go with the blue short one to the daughter cells. So it is the independent assortment of homologous chromosome. Because this question is talking about the possible combination, so we need to do some mix and match. Well, how can we determine which of the following diagram one, two, three the cells it can really show the possible combination of the chromosome? The idea is that you need to highlight the homologous chromosome first. So I use another color. For example, I use the green one to highlight this long chromosome pair. These two green homologous chromosomes they are in one pair, and then the blue one maybe this one ah、uh, a bit shorter one ah,、uh, and then for the red one this very short one, and then for the let's say the purple one the purple one is these two chromosomes. We can see that there are four pairs of homologous chromosomes: the green, purple, blue, and the red. So in the gamete, what should we see? We should see that just either one. Of the chromosome, the example, just either one of the member of the homologous chromosome, the black one or the green one, from one pair of homologous chromosome will go to the gamete. So let's see the diagram one. We can see the purple one, and then we can see the blue one, and then we can see the red one, and then we can see the green one. Because you can see that, according to the chromosome segregation, only one member. Of the homologous chromosome, for example, this long one, the black one, and the white one, they will be separated to daughter cell to the gamete. So I just see one member is okay. So number one is possible, and then number two, I see the green one, I see the blue one, I see the red one, the purple one. 
So that's why number two is also correct because you can still see that either black or the white chromosome go to the daughter cells. And the diagram three, we can see that the green one, one and two, eh? they are two chromosomes. This pair of the homologous chromosome, the green one, both of them, they go to the gamete. And then the blue one, and then the red one. So do you see the purple one? No, we do not see it. Therefore, is it really possible? Not really, because we should only see either one member of the homologous chromosome go to the daughter cell, according to the chromosome segregation concept, right? Therefore, number three is invalid. Therefore, the answer is A. So in this question, it's given that uh, this several diagram to ask you the possible combination of the chromosome. So maybe next time it asks you to do the calculation. So the possible question variation, it can ask you that how many possible combination of the chromosome in the daughter cell can be produced after the meiosis, after the meiotic cell division, right? So how can we do the calculation? And the formula is 2 power to n. n stands for what? n stands for the number of the homologous chromosome pair. How many pairs of homologous chromosome do we have? So the idea is that for this diagram in the textbook, there are two pairs of homologous chromosome, the long one and the short one, right? Um, therefore, in this case, the equation will be two square and then it's equal to four possible combination. How many possible combination are here? One, two, three, four, done. So what about this one? How many pairs in these cells do we have? So we have one pair, the long, long one, and then the other pair, the blue one, purple one, and the red one. So there are four pairs of homologous chromosome pairs, right? So the equation will be 2 power to 4. So it means 16 possible combination of the chromosome in the gamete.